Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a palette revisit. It's time to do another look with the new Jeffree Star Gothic Beach palette. In my first video, I did go in with a look that I'll never normally go into. If you wanna see that, I'll leave it down below. But yeah, I wanna play with the more of neutrals out of this palette. This palette is not very shimmer heavy. I may go into a glitter after from another palette, but yeah, I literally don't know what I'm gonna pick out for the rest of my face. I'm just gonna go as a long. I have just woken up. We'll just see where this video will take us. So yeah, this'll be a get ready with me. If you like that type of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I do also have a makeup Patreon as well if you're interested. I'll leave that in the description box where we just talk all things makeup. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my iHeart Revolution Glow Serum. I'm gonna do some skincare. I'm also gonna put some SPF on because it's so weird. It's October, but it's literally giving out summer weather this week. Well, not summer, but like spring at least. It's October, I'm about to put on some shorts. It's very disorientating. It's like 20 degrees. Either way, you should wear SPF anyway, whether it's sunny or not. I'm gonna go into my eyeshadow primer. This is the Beauty Bay IB. W7 Hotshot Lip Oil. I've been really liking this. This is in my September favourites. I really do enjoy the sting. Okay, now my serum has soaked in. I am going to go with this moisturiser. This is a Skin Proud Gel to Ice Hydrator. Weird texture. This is it's literally crystal clear. I can imagine this as being really good for oily skin types. Once that's soaked in, I am going to go in my SPF. This is the Carbon Theory SPF 50 Plus. Nearly running out. I need to get an SPF 25 for the winter, which is my Neutrogena one. Okay, time for Gothic Beach. I absolutely adore this packaging. It is very noisy though with the handle. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the shade Rusty Anchor. And I'm just going to put this everywhere. This is such an autumn shade. Okay, I'm just gonna blend whatever we got there out a bit, just make it a bit more buffed out. This is such a nice warm shade. I'm gonna blend this out with Don't Be Beach and a bit of Burnt Out, but more so Don't Be Beach. Don't Be a Beach. <laughs> I love these shade names. And I'm using the same brush, by the way. It's just a really fluffy brush from P. Louise. There is quite a lot of hit back in this palette, just to let you know. Um, but these are blending out like a dream, these two shades. Like, they were meant to be. Back into that rusty anchor shade. Let's put it in the lower lash side. My favourite is croaky, like, I literally have just woken up. <laughs> Let's uh, go into Sandcastle, this brown. I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner. Give it some extra depth. Oh, these mats lay on top of each other so nice as well. What's that say? I'm gonna go into Sunday Slot. I hope I don't get demonetized for saying that. This is more of a shimmery brown. I think this works better if you apply it on with your finger. It's just very chocolatey, shimmery brown. You know what? I was just thinking, right, I was gonna go in a glitter, but I'm really appreciating this all matte look. I did do a little glitter thing in my Pumpkin Spice Latte makeup, so maybe it's time I can just appreciate this matte look. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in the waterline using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade Black Milk. Is it Black Milk? Black Bean. I think the Black Milk shade is from Made by Mitchell. I think I did a look like this similar using the I Heart Revolution Cinnamon Palette. If you've got that palette, you could easily create this type of look. I'm gonna go in my Maybell Mitchell Color Case, the Essentials in the shade, the Deep, this black shade here. Now this doesn't have the best pigment, but I do like to, I do like to use it as a base first and perhaps go over it with another eyeliner. Right, it is a bit stiff, this product, so I have mixed it in with my Revolution Concealer Fix Matte Frame Primer just to soften it out a bit. I'm gonna move on to my Revolution Clueless Eyeliner just to go over it, make sure it's black. Okay, brows. I'm gonna brush up my brows using the I Heart Revolution Honey Brow Jam. Jumping into my color case again, made by Mitchell the Essentials. I'm gonna use this for my brows. I'm gonna use the shade Richier and Coconut, which are diagonal from each other. Created a shade like that. Just gonna go in my foundation, I'm gonna mix these. This is the L'Oreal Matte Cover 130 and the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Luminous M3. I just don't know how many more times I'm gonna say that because I've been literally using these two foundations in every single video so far. I'm gonna use this primer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer. Just want to be a bit matte around here. That's, 
that SPF should have soaked in by now. I've just wiped that lip oil off. Concealer, I'm gonna go in my e.l.f. Hydro Concealer in the shade Fair Warm, which is running, really running low now. I want a bit more coverage, so I'm gonna go the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF1W. Bronzer, I'm gonna go in my e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade, not that shade, light medium. Throwback, gonna use my iHeart Revolution. What are you? Gonna use my iHeart Revolution Serum Liquid Blush in the shade Pop. A good blush to go into today. Oh, I could have used my Apricot Hot by Mabel Mitchell, but I used that the other day. Sheer, this is, so you do need to build it up. Okay, I'm gonna use some banana powder. This is by W7. I'm gonna go with my Weird Fuzzy Techniques powder. Sponge to weird sponges, <laughs> um, like it just feels odd, but I'm trying it out, trying different powders, trying different sponges, and all that. I'm gonna go into more of an orange blush, so my choices are this May Beauty blush and the I Heart Revolution Peach blush. This is the orangest blush I've got, I think. So let's go into this. I think I used this in my pumpkin spice latte makeup as well. Oh, yeah. Let's try that and then I'm gonna go in May on the other side just to just want to see comparison for myself. Hmm. This has got more of a sheen to it, I think. Both equally as good. Do you like this though? It's a dream. Gonna use my iHeart Revolution Watermelon Glowing Fixing Spray. I was gonna go into this in my last video, but I didn't. So this is the I Heart Revolution Glaze Liquid Highlighter. I'm gonna give it another, another whirl. It does look quite nice, actually. Not bad. I think I wanna go with a gold highlighter. It's created a nice sheen. I like it more this time around, but still playing around with it. Highlighter, I might give this one a go. This is the pineapple highlighter. It's got a bit of yellow in it. Mm, I want something orange. I'm gonna use my I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach Highlighter, is it? Should we go in this? I think I want something more gold, actually. Oh, the pineapple, is that? I mean, that could look okay. I need to sneeze. Come on, it's not coming. Oh! That was a waste of time. Golden apple. Shall I go golden apple? Cosmic brushes. I don't know. It's got a bit of an icy tone. Shall we see? That could work actually. I'm gonna go with a bit of this pineapple highlighter as well. I'm gonna go into this. I don't think I've used this on my channel yet. This is the Melt Perfectionist Lip Ultra Position Pencil in the shade what? Cinnamon. This could work. I don't think I've used this on my channel yet. This is the Doll Beauty lipstick in the shade Double Booked. I don't know if I need something lighter. I think I want something lighter, it's that shade by the way. I'm gonna go into this. This is the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Snatural. This might work in the middle. Okay, mascara, I'm gonna go my new Too Faced, what is it, what, what's this called? Damn Girl Mascara. Damn girl. I don't know where my lashes stay. Oh, I'm liking this mascara today. I think I might put some lashes on. Or, I don't know. I mean, this mascara is doing what I need it to do. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit more powder. I'm gonna use the Powerland powder. Just a bit. Just so we're all intact. I didn't bronze my nose. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Back to Bronze. I'm give a bit of nose bronze. I'm gonna do a bit of nose highlight. I'm gonna use this NYX Jumbo highlighter. Thing. I'm gonna go in my NYX Barbie, this gold here, and just use it as a highlight. I don't know if it might be too dark though. I think it might be okay. Might use it a bit in, the, in a corner as well. 
gonna go into my I Heart Revolution pineapple, get a bit of that yellow going on. Because I do love myself an inner corner highlight. I do also have this NYX gold. No, we do, we're doing it now. I'm gonna go into my NYX brow glue. This is in the shade taupe. I'm gonna put these lashes on because they're so tiny, you can't even tell I've got them on, but so these are the sheer lashes. I mean, that's the difference. You literally can't tell I've got them on. I mean, they do feel redundant because you can't even tell. I'm gonna quickly add some freckles. Feeling so autonomous right now with these shades in my eyes. Gothic Beach palette has come through. This is definitely providing me with the autumn shades that I needed. Oh, it's so nice. I still think this palette is lacking shimmer, but the mattes. I feel like the mattes are the main focus of this palette. They blend with each other so nicely, especially those two shades I used today, the Rusty Anchor and Burnt Out. I'm definitely coming back to this palette. I really want to use this black against these gunmetal silver shades here and possibly that green with it as well. I'm having so much fun by the way playing this palette. This has been such a joy to play with. I'm definitely really happy I've got it in my collection. But yeah, it was nice to revisit some things, especially I Heart Revolution. The Ombre Peach is my favourite blush ever from them and I really like this serum blush today as well. That came out very nice. But yeah, that was my get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think of this makeup look. Are you feeling the autumn yet in your makeup collection? I'm gonna go now. I hope you had a lovely day. Now every time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!